as I mentioned to you earlier, we speak to a, a number of doctors as, as we do this. And, um, and a couple, uh, I recall, have talked about probiotics and gut health. And, and a couple have said, if, if you don't have your uh, gut health in check, uh, a healthy gut system, the probiotics don't really do much. Do you agree with that? Do you have to do some things before taking probiotics? Uh, let's see. I wonder what they're referring to because <clears throat> we use probiotics to improve gut health. Right. And so in many cases, I think about it for people whose gut is not functioning well. So when I think about a non-functioning gut, it could be in the upper part of the gastrointestinal tract, which would be, is your esophagus functioning correctly? Are you able to swallow well? Um, do you have the right amount of acid in your stomach? Does the stomach stay in the acid or does it go up? Which is what we call reflux mm -hmm. or gastroesophageal reflux disease. And then down, once you get past the stomach into the small intestines, how is your absorption of nutrients? Are you bloated? Um, and then even farther down into the large bowel, are you constipated? Do you have diarrhea? So, you know, there are many different areas there where we look mm -hmm. at gut function. I need to have, I mean, I don't want too much acid in the stomach or it might kill off some of the probiotics, but I don't need to have 100% of the probiotics living to have at least some of them arrive into the large bowel and cause some benefits. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think, um, I think I don't need a perfectly functioning gut to have the probiotics work well.